In this video, we will walk through the sign-up process for ReadyTalk for Eloqua and the setup process for the ReadyTalk for Eloqua cloud connectors. The first step is to sign up for ReadyTalk for Eloqua. Go to this URL and sign up for ReadyTalk. Click on Get App and fill in the required information and click Sign Up. An account creation email with a temporary password will be sent to you. Follow the instructions and you will be logged into the ReadyTalk for Eloqua administration website. The site will ask you to change your temporary password. Step 2. Configuring Cloud Connectors in Eloqua. If you are using Eloqua 9, navigate to the top of the Eloqua screen, click on Setup, Management, click on Systems Management tab, and then click on the Cloud Connector Manager option on the left side of the screen. If you are using Eloqua 10, navigate to the top of the Eloqua screen, click on Setup, and then on the Cloud Connector icon. Add the ReadyTalk registration connector using the following values. Then add the ReadyTalk Post Event Connector using these values. Then add the ReadyTalk Recording Registration Connector using these following values. Then add the ReadyTalk Post Recording Connector using these following values. ReadyTalk for Eloqua connectors can be used in Campaign Canvas and Program Builder. To use the ReadyTalk for Eloqua connectors in Program Builder, you must add a step to your program and click Edit Step Default Action. Choose Cloud Connector from the Action List, select the desired connector from the list, and they can be configured by clicking the Configure icon. To use the ReadyTalk for Eloqua connectors in Campaign Canvas, you must add a Send to Cloud Connector step. The appropriate connector can then be selected from the list. They can then be configured by clicking on the Edit icon. Add the registration connector to your campaign. In this demo, we will use Campaign Canvas to demonstrate how to use ReadyTalk for Eloqua connectors. This is a sample webinar campaign with registration, post-event, recording registration, and post-recording connectors. To configure the ReadyTalk registration connector, double-click on the step and click on the Edit icon. You will be prompted for your username and passcode that you set up when you installed the connectors. Click on Credentials Setup and enter your ReadyTalk credentials, and then click Save Settings. Select Advanced Setup from the list in the top left corner. In the Required Input tab, Map the Eloqua fields that will be used for email address, first name, and last name. The ReadyTalk meeting drop-down list will be populated with upcoming events scheduled on this ReadyTalk account. Select the webinar you wish to map for this program from the drop-down list. You must specify which tool you wish to use to send confirmation emails in the Confirmation Email Sent By field. For Eloqua, select Eloqua. For ReadyTalk, select ReadyTalk. Below that, there is an option to send an email with generic instructions for how to log into the meeting. This is to ensure that participants who have registered very close to the meeting start time can still log into the meeting. If you want to disable this option, set the value to zero. Click Save Inputs and then select the Optional Input tab. Configure any of the optional input fields to use Eloqua data. When complete, select the Required Output tab. Configure which Eloqua fields will be used to store the returned meeting ID and registration ID. 
The selections must either be both contact fields or fields from the same data card. Click on Save Outputs and then select the Optional Output tab. Configure which Eloqua fields will be used to store the meeting details that are returned from the registration. If you selected data card fields to store the meeting ID and registration ID, that data cards field will be available in this screen. You can always select contact fields. One of the available fields is the event ICS file URL, which is a URL that will generate a calendar entry for a contact's registration. To enable the ReadyTalk registration connector, hover over the stoplight in the top right corner and click Enable Connector. Add the ReadyTalk Post Event Cloud Connector to your campaign. To configure the ReadyTalk Post Event Connector, double click on the step and click the Edit icon. Click on Credential Setup. As with the ReadyTalk Registration Connector, you must connect Eloqua to ReadyTalk using your ReadyTalk login credentials. Once you enter these credentials, click Save Settings. Select Advanced Setup from the list in the top left. In the Required Input Mapping tab, select which Eloqua field contains the email address. The ReadyTalk meeting drop-down list will be populated with upcoming events scheduled on this ReadyTalk account. Select the webinar you wish to map for this program from the drop-down list. Select which fields contain the meeting ID and registration ID. These should be the same fields that were chosen in the required output section of the registration cloud connector configuration. Click Save Inputs and select the Output Mapping tab. Here, configure which Aliqua fields will be used to store the attendance details. After mapping the output fields, click Save and click on the Poll Questions tab. Configure the default response text, which will be used if an attendee does not answer a question. Choose your multi-answer and ranking answer delimiters. These values will separate the values returned from ReadyTalk multi-answer and ranking questions. Click Save Inputs. Map the question and answer fields for any poll questions that might be asked in this webinar. To enable the post event connector, hover over the stoplight in the top right corner and click Enable Connector. To configure the ReadyTalk recording registration connector, double click on the step and click on the edit icon. As with the other ReadyTalk connectors, you must connect Eloqua to ReadyTalk using your ReadyTalk credentials. Enter them here and click Save Settings. Select Advanced Setup from the list on the top left. In the Required Input tab, select a connector mode. In this demo, we're using After Post Event. The Recording Registration and Post Registration connectors can also be used in standalone mode to promote a recording. Select the ReadyTalk meeting and where the meeting ID is stored. This should be the same field as the meeting IDs from the registration and post event connectors. The ReadyTalk recording drop down list will be populated with upcoming recordings on this ReadyTalk account. This list can be filtered by date. Select the recording you wish to map for this campaign from the drop down list. Select which fields contain the email address, first name, and last name.
select any optional inputs that should be passed into the recording registration cloud connector. Click Save and select the Required Outputs tab. Map the email address, recording ID, and recording title. Click the Save Outputs and then select the Optional Outputs tab. For additional information about the recording, map any of the optional output fields. To enable the ReadyTalk Recording Registration Connector, hover over the spotlight in the top right corner and click Enable Connector. Add the ReadyTalk Post Recording Registration Cloud Connector to your campaign. To configure the ReadyTalk Post Recording Registration Connector, double click on the step and click the Edit icon. Click on Credential Setup. As with the other ReadyTalk connectors, you must connect Eloqua to ReadyTalk using your ReadyTalk credentials. Enter them here, save them, and select Advanced Setup from the list on the top left. In the Required Input tab, select the recording that will be pulled for the viewing data and the Recording ID field. These should be the same as what was chosen in the Recording Registration Connector. Select the Email Address field. Choose the date that you'd like to stop checking for recording views. The connector will pull ReadyTalk until that time and look for any recording views by contact in this campaign setup. Click Save Inputs and then select the Optional Output tab. Map any of the recording viewing information fields. To enable the ReadyTalk registration connector, hover over the stoplight in the top right corner and click Enable Connector. The ReadyTalk for Eloqua connectors are now configured and the campaign is ready for execution. The ReadyTalk contact feeder will pull ReadyTalk meeting attendance data and add new contacts to Eloqua. To use the ReadyTalk contact feeder, configure the feeder by logging into Eloqua Cloud Connectors for ReadyTalk web portal located at cloud.couchassociates slash readytalk slash login dot ASPX. Once you log in, you will see your dashboard and you will see the new Cloud Connector button on the top right. In the drop-down labeled Cloud Connector, select the ReadyTalk Contact Feeder. Click Create Cloud Connector. On the Credentials screen, enter the required information, click Save Credentials, locate the feeder on the left side of the screen, and click on Advanced Setup. Under the Required Outputs tab, select Eloqua fields to hold the incoming email address, first name, last name, and the ReadyTalk registration ID. Under the Optional Outputs tab, you can have additional information from ReadyTalk imported to Eloqua. When you click on New Output Mapping, you will be presented with a list of ReadyTalk fields you can bring back into Eloqua, as well as a picker for which Eloqua field you want to merge that value into. You can merge information from ReadyTalk into an Eloqua contact field, or if chosen to store the registration ID, a custom data object or data card field. Finally, to enable the contact feeder, click on General Settings and enable this cloud connector. The ReadyTalk recording feeder will pull ReadyTalk recording viewings and log the information in an Eloqua custom data object. To use the ReadyTalk recording feeder connector, configure the feeder by logging into the Eloqua Cloud Connectors for ReadyTalk web portal located at http cloud.couch-associates.com slash readytalk slash login dot ASPX. Once you log in, you will see your dashboard and you will see the new Cloud Connector button on the top right. In the drop-down labeled Cloud Connector, select the ReadyTalk recording feeder. Click Create Cloud Connector. On the Credentials screen, enter your access number, access code, and passcode. Click Save Credentials. Locate the feeder on the left side of the screen and click on Advanced Setup. Under the Required Outputs tab, select Eloqua fields to hold the incoming email address, recording ID, recording title, and playback ID.
Under the Optional Outputs tab, when you click on New Output Mapping, you'll be presented with a list of ReadyTalk recording playback fields you can bring back into Eloqua, as well as a picker for which Eloqua field you want to merge that value into. Finally, to enable this recording, click on General Settings and enable this cloud connector. Thus concludes the ReadyTalk for Eloqua Getting Started guide. Thank you for watching. We hope you make the best use of your ReadyTalk for Eloqua cloud connectors.